Are you wondering what's the best LED TV for this year? If so, stay tuned, because by the end of this short video, you'll know exactly which one. This list was made based on our personal views and are listed based on price, quality, durability, and more. To see prices and get more info about the product shown, be One last thing before we dive in, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to get the latest product reviews from the channel. Okay, so let's get started with today's video. At number 5 is the Sony X950G 75-inch LED TV. The Sony X950G is an impressive 4K TV with perfect picture quality. It has excellent darkroom performance thanks to the high native contrast ratio and a full array of local dimming support. The design of the X950G is excellent. It has a big wide stand that provides excellent support to the TV and has dimensions with stand of 66 by 40 by 14 inches. Each leg has a hollow back where you can route the wires, giving ideal cable management. Some of the inputs are facing downwards and some are facing toward the side. Overall, build quality feels very robust and sturdy. Moving on, the Sony X950G has a novel method to built-in sound. It is with rear-facing tweeters built into the frame. This helps lift the sound, including dialogue for those who do not use a soundbar or separate sound system with their TV. Watching TV from the sides is now as satisfying as from the center, thanks to Sony's original optical design to control light from the backlight. The X wide angle panel ensures colors stay true from wherever you're watching. In addition, the main interface has a variety of apps, which are simple to navigate, and you can easily find what you're looking for. It is swift and gives you access to the great Google Play Store. Furthermore, the Sony X950G 75-inch LED TV supports popular formats, including HDR10 and Dolby Vision. So whether you stream HDR, play 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays, or game in HDR, you'll experience the vivid contrast and more vibrant color of HDR. Netflix fans will like the inclusion of a Netflix calibrated mode that lets you watch content from that company using the same settings used to master it. And with Chromecast built in, you can stream to this TV to your heart's content. It even supports the two most popular voice assistants, Amazon Alexa and Google Voice. Overall, the Sony X950G 75-inch LED TV. It is a TV with excellent picture quality that can deliver deep blacks in a dark room for a great movie watching experience and is a TV that will keep anyone who chooses it happy and one we would highly recommend. At number 4 is the Samsung Q80R QLED 4K. When looking to buy a new TV, everyone would like to have the ability to buy the top flagship model available. But with the Q80R being one step down the ladder, it's obvious many people will be wondering if the differences can justify the price. So let's see. Design-wise, the thin metallic bezel wrapping around the screen is tidy, minimal, and curved rather than sharp at the edges. It's supported by a central stand rather than impractical feet at each end that necessitate a super wide surface to stand on. And there's enough space between the stand and the bottom of the screen to position a soundbar. Plus, the depth is a very regular 6.2 centimeters, so a wall mounted QADR will intrude into your room a little more than you may require at this point in flat screen TV evolution. And this 55 inch version measures 2.4 by 48.4 by 27.9 inches and weighs a substantial 18.6 kilograms, so don't be expected to be able to put it on a partition wall. The Samsung Q80R's impressive suite of inputs is all arranged on the rear panel of the screen. These include four HDMI sockets, an Ethernet input, there's Wi-Fi on board too naturally, a couple of USB inputs, two satellite TV aerial connections, and a single terrestrial TV aerial socket. Looking at the performance, the Samsung Q80R is a 4K TV with a native resolution of 2840 by 2160. And to make the most of HDR content, it has a peak brightness of 1500 nits. With four times the resolution of full HD and over a billion shades of color to discover what you've been missing with this brilliant, crisp and clear picture. It features a quantum processor 4K with an intelligently powered processor that upscales content for sharp detail and refined color. Plus, with Quantum HDR 12X, it will deliver the lightest to darkest colors scene by scene for fantastic picture realism, which is pretty cool. We particularly like the ambient mode feature, which helps QLED mingle with your home decor for a perfectly natural effect. 
Instead of a simple black screen, you'll see meaningful images that match your lifestyle, with easy settings and plenty of choices. Overall, the Samsung Q80R is an excellent value and offers outstanding performance at a much more reasonable price, something that we believe many people will be considering. And for this reason, we think you won't be disappointed. At number 3 is the TCL 55R617 55-inch 4K LED TV. After wowing reviewers and customers alike with its P-Series TV last year, TCL is often on shortlists for people looking to purchase a new 4K TV. After all, last year's P-Series competed well against TVs costing twice the price. That's undeniable value. Design-wise, the TCL 6 Series has upgraded bezels which are unassuming and dark brushed metal which improves both the look and feel of the TV. You'll find metal legs which operate as the TV stand, and the size is 48.5 by 10.7 by 30.9 inches. Furthermore, if you're wall mounting, you'll get a very sleek looking presentation with a slightly thicker band of black metal along the bottom, accented by a power control button, a low key Roku logo, and a totally not low key illuminated TCL logo smack in the center. Moreover, an enhanced remote lets you use your voice to quickly find your favorite entertainment. Use voice controls to find movie titles, launch or change channels, and even switch inputs. Moving on, if you've not yet experienced a Roku TV, you're in for a treat. This is the kind of interface just about anyone can figure out. Not only are apps like Netflix, YouTube, and Hulu easy to find and quick to launch, you can connect devices like cable boxes, game consoles, which is useful. For connections, the 6 Series Roku TV supports 3 HDMI 2.0 HDCP 2.2 inputs, so you can connect all your 4K HDR devices, like an Xbox One S or PS4 Pro, without having to be careful about which inputs will work. The headphone jack is a nice touch, and unlike cheaper Roku sets, this one has Ethernet too. As for performance, the TCL 6 Series produces remarkably impressive picture quality. The low price is a bonus to be sure, but the 6 Series stands up well against the competition. Additionally, this 55-inch TV's 96 zones of locally dimmed backlights, with 120 zones in the 65-inch variant, are incredibly effective at providing punchy brightness while preserving deep black levels. Let's talk about the HDR and Dolby Vision. When you get such impressive color and contrast, HDR performance tends to follow. The TCL 6 series supports both HDR10 and Dolby Vision, and it displays both of them exceptionally well. To conclude, the affordable TCL 55R617 55-inch 4K LED TV has excellent overall image quality, with deep black levels, excellent brightness, rich contrast, and accurate color. Its Roku Smart TV platform is the best available and is one we would recommend if you're on a budget. At number 2 is the Hisense 55H8F, 55-inch 4K LED TV. The Hisense H8 series has been one of the favorite value 4K TV lines for the past few years, and we are pleased to say the Hisense 55H8F 2019 version is better than ever. From a design viewpoint, one of the strengths of Hisense is its ability to produce upscale-looking televisions that appear to cost more than they actually do. The 2019 H8F series is no exception. The screen is bordered by an ultra-thin black bezel trim that disappears against black letterbox borders on the screen. The matching forked feet at the left and right ends of the screen provide a rich visual accent while keeping the screen stable. Furthermore, the remote provides clearly marked number and action keys that enhance the intuitively easy setup and control of the television, and offers quick access buttons for Netflix, YouTube, Google Play, and Vudu apps. Many others are available through the Google Play Store app. In addition, the Hisense H8F support the leading high dynamic range profiles, including the standard HDR10, hybrid log gamma, and Dolby Vision profiles. The television nicely presents a brief flag indicating when it is playing material with one of the supported formats. Moving on, for video gaming, the Hisense H8F has excellent input lag times ranging from 15 milliseconds to 25 milliseconds across three screen sizes. We expect many people who purchase this set will opt to play video games via the built-in Android TV Smart TV operating system with the remote control. For your information, the Hisense H8F has a nice assortment of inputs, including four HDMI 2.0B inputs, two USB ports, 
a set of RCA analog AV composite video inputs, one aux port, one optical audio port, and an Ethernet jack. The set will also connect wirelessly to the home Wi-Fi network and mobile devices via Bluetooth. Before we end, with the Google Assistant built in, you can quickly access entertainment, get answers, and control devices around your home, all with just your voice. To conclude, the Hisense 55H8F 55-inch is one of the better budget-priced TVs currently available. It delivers such good picture quality that it can stand out, and is a cut above other TVs in its price class. At number 1 is the Samsung UN65RU7100 4K UHD 7 Series Smart TV. As one of Samsung's affordable TV offers for 2019, the Samsung RU7100 4K TV is likely to prove to be one of the better choices for non-fussy shoppers who want a solid TV at a decent price. Design-wise, the RU7100 has an elegant slim design and modern look. The stand supports the TV well and allows minimum wobble. It is, however, nearly as wide as the TV, so you require a large table to place it on. The footprint of this reviewed 55-inch TV stand is 38.3 by 10.4 inches. In addition, the back of the TV is made of plastic with a textured finish. Cable management is by guide tracks on the back of the TV and with the help of clips that attach to the legs. Moving on, the smart features of the RU7100 are great. It uses the latest version of Samsung's Tizen OS and gives you access to a wide selection of apps to choose from and is very easy to navigate. The remote has three quick access buttons for Hulu, Netflix, and Prime Video, which is handy. Looking at the performance, the RU7100 has a 4K UHD processor, which optimizes your TV with excellent 4K picture quality. For the best part, the Samsung RU7100 performs well in most areas of contrast, color, and has a motion rate of 120. From a contrast standpoint, standard content looks fine. The TV is capable of deep blacks and relatively bright highlights. Its color output, too, falls squarely in the range of acceptable to good. The downside, despite qualifying as an HDR-ready TV, the RU7100 isn't capable of the type of brightness that makes HDR content so special to begin with. Therefore, there's not a noticeable difference between SDR and HDR content, at least to the naked eye. That being said, the RU7100 is good enough to satisfy the majority of people buying in this price range, and given its cost, it's not a deal-breaker. To conclude, the Samsung RU7100 is an excellent option for people who need an LED TV this year, but would rather not spend a premium on high-end performance or unnecessary bells and whistles, and one that would be a great choice. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you found it useful. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this in the future. If you do have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and we'll get back to you. Catch you soon.